Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I thought I would just drink some coffee and uh, make a couple videos this morning answering questions subscribers are asking in the comments. Alright, basically we have a subscriber here who has asked me in the video I made discussing multivitamins of why I don't recommend them. If multivitamins don't work, and remember that's a hypothetical guys because only about a third of researchers believe they don't work at all. He asked, why do people need vitamin B12? Like, why do vegans specifically take vitamin B12, sometimes in multivitamin form, if the multivitamins don't work? All right, this is kind of misunderstanding why they don't work. They're not saying that some of the vitamins and minerals don't get absorbed when the ones you're concerned that they don't work. They're saying that because you're outside of the natural matrix and balance of these things found in your foods, that they may not absorb and metabolize the same way. Now we know specific vitamins, there are specific vitamins that you can absorb pretty much in any environment. Things like uh, vitamin C, we know it's easy to actually just get so much in your system that you urinate it out through supplement form. Now incidentally, remember guys, there is also research showing that supplementing vitamin C reduces muscle gains and blunts your training response, and uh, I linked that a while back, but th that can be a problem. Things like B12 also fall in that category. A lot of these water-soluble water vitamins, some of them at least, you can absorb them easily enough. They seem to metabolize. We've studied them. We know that if your levels are low of them, that adding them in uh, in a supplement form can be beneficial, B12 even with an injection. Now that being said, that doesn't detract from the fact that a lot of the others might not absorb. The fact that the B12, since it's one that we know you can absorb, the fact that it's in the multivitamin isn't relevant. It seems to work free form and in the multivitamin just fine. Uh, the problem is that a lot of the others may not absorb correctly. It's not about the B12 specifically. And yeah, that's the thing. When it comes to a lot of individual vitamins, your diet can absolutely be deficient in them or you can have an absorption problem and you might need to supplement that individual vitamin. That can usually be determined by one, either looking at your diet, like if you follow a vegan diet and your foods aren't fortified with B12, you are going to be deficient in B12. So vegans would be intelligent to go ahead and take just a B12 pill on its own. Uh, that's not unreasonable. If you go to your doctor and they do blood work, it can determine that you're low in some particular vitamin or mineral and they'll prescribe it to you and you can go get a pharmaceutical grade form. Because that's the other thing that you do need to be aware of with over-the-counter supplements. They aren't regulated as much. And just because it says that supplement's on the label, there's no guarantee that it is. Unless you happen to take a brand that has independent testing that will confirm for you that that brand actually contains what's on the label. But just remember, a lot of the individual ones out there that um, you're going to be deficient in, your doctor can oftentimes prescribe you a pharmaceutical grade one that you know for a fact is what's on the label. Uh, usually your insurance will cover it. But don't take that to mean that a multivitamin by itself is going to work because you're trying to just, when people take these multivitamins, what they're doing, they're just taking a whole broad spectrum mix, hoping to fill in whatever deficiencies in their diet and it may not actually address the deficiency. And the thing that you need to remember is that sometimes a deficiency that you've created in your diet or due to malabsorption issues can actually be caused because you're taking too much of something else in, in your diet that's slowing down or blocking or inhibiting the absorption of something else in another way. So if you go take a big broad spectrum multivitamin, you might be taking even more of the substance that's blocking your absorption and you might actually uh, exacerbate your problem. So hopefully that answers the question and uh, it clears that up a little bit. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.